A.J. Dagenhart, it's a name that is synonymous with hockey in this community. The lacrosse Logan grad and former head coach of the Cooley Region Chill has dedicated almost his entire life to the sport, but now he's facing his toughest opponent yet, and it's taken him away from the game he loves. Hockey players are known for being tough, not only physically, but mentally too. Sometimes though, that toughness isn't enough to overcome what life throws your way. And right now I'm probably at the worst point I've ever been at. From the time he was just five years old. I've probably been able to skate better than I can walk. The hockey rink has been AJ Dagenhart's second home. Pretty much been my life ever since. It's all I've really known. Dagenhart shoots From his days of playing college hockey with the Wisconsin Badgers, AJ went right into coaching, including a five-year stint with the Cooley Region Chill. Either playing in games or coaching games. I wouldn't have it any other way. I got five. But now, at just 34 years old, AJ is forced to watch the sport he loves from the sidelines. The first sign something was wrong came in 2009. We were at nationals actually and my vision just, it got really bad. Like it was really blurry in the one eye and it lasted throughout the whole weekend that we were there. The blurriness eventually went away and AJ didn't think any more of it until an incident when he was coaching Team Illinois less than a year later. I stepped on the ice on my skates and literally my right leg went this direction, my left leg went that direction, it dropped right to the ice and at that point I was kind of like I need some answers here. An MRI showed he had two herniated discs in his back from his playing days, but rehab only seemed to make it worse. More serious MRIs revealed what was really going on. He said, you know, I gotta let you know you have MS and for me at that point it was a sense of relief like something my name was put on it and I knew what I had and knew it was wrong and I uh, didn't really I mean I didn't even really know what it was at that point. Multiple sclerosis. AJ's dad yeah. who was in the room when those yes. two words were spoken time. knew exactly yeah. what it meant. Emotional. Tom Dagenhart watched his own dad AJ's grandfather slowly succumbed to the disease. Yeah, none of this that I'm seeing today is new, but it's hard when it's your son. So. This is AJ's new reality. MS, by definition, causes the immune system to eat away at the protective covering of the nerves, which in turn causes communication problems between the brain and the rest of the body. It's made everyday tasks a chore. Getting dressed, I usually have to have my parents put my shorts on or something like that. And um, it, it's tough, like even putting my deodorant on, it's a thing you take for granted how easy it is to do. It's a very humbling disease in that aspect. The last couple of years, there's been a steady decline. So, no, um, it's hard to watch. Um, he was pretty athletic, so it's hard to watch. He could do anything he wanted to do, and was most of the time about the best. I can't even move my hand. The disease has gotten so bad, AJ can no longer live on his own. He's moved back in with his parents at their French Island home. Tom took care of his dad during his teen years and is now spending his retirement caring for his son. There's nothing I wouldn't do. I wish I had it instead. Once a strong, athletic young man with the world ahead of him, AJ is now fighting just to get up and face each new day. He spends most of his days in bed. If I walk from here into my bedroom, it's, uh, I mean, after I'm done with that, I feel like I ran five marathons in a row and I can't move even. I think the toughest part of the disease is it just, it kind of plays mind games with you, like you, You'll be bad, but all of a sudden you'll get better. You can't feel it. You can't see it. You can't touch it. So you don't, you don't know how to cope with it. On top of dealing with his health issues, AJ is going through a divorce. He has twin girls who are just under two who visit every couple of weeks. They're a bright spot in the dark days. They're one of the things in my life that are able to make me forget about my disease and make me just focus on them. AJ's spirits have also been lifted by the outpouring of support 
one of his former teammates at Wisconsin when they won the 2006 NCAA championship, started a GoFundMe page to help pay for medical expenses. And AJ was overcome with emotion at a recent charity hockey game in Madison, where he was honored by some big names in the sport, who helped push the GoFundMe total to now more than $41,000. That's unreal what those guys did there. I mean, I can't even put it into words. It's overwhelming, but in a good way. Hockey players are known for being tough. And this is one fight AJ's not about to give up on. You gotta move forward somehow and continue your life and try to, you know, build on the stuff that you can do and appreciate what you're still able to do. If you don't have hope, very much left, so. Now, AJ travels to Chicago every six months about to, uh, for a treatment that he's trying, and that comes at a cost of about $50,000, and there's no guarantee it will work. Also, he's going to start a new FDA-approved drug soon, so that's uh, where they're kind of putting their hope right now is on those yeah. two things that it's uh, going to help him out here. And if you'd like to still donate to his GoFundMe page, that's still up. Just search AJ Dagenhart on GoFundMe. Such a difficult diagnosis, but mm -hmm. it's so nice to see he does have his family with him every day to help out. Yeah, they're there by his side. Yeah. Absolutely.